I'm Jennifer and this is Kate and today we have three things for you. First, we want to wish all of you, our viewers, a very happy, holy, and blessed Easter. Second, we have a really easy, really fun Easter letter writing craft to share with you, new to us, but we love it. <laughs> and then we also have a fun Easter giveaway for you today, so let's go ahead and get started. So happy Easter, what a joyful day today is. Christ has risen. He has risen indeed, which is the traditional Easter greeting that you can use throughout the whole Easter season, which as we know, lasts a full 50 days. And which is also a great time to celebrate with different fun and interesting activities. One of which we found in a book that we've been reading recently. In this book, it is a Danish tradition of writing Easter letters, which involves solving a little mystery and winning some prizes. So the formal name for this tradition is in Danish, and I don't speak Danish, so go easy on me, Gekka Breve. And it works like this. So during Holy Week or the week of Easter, the children make paper cut out letters like this and send them to friends and family. And usually these traditionally include a snowdrop flower somewhere, but there's also a little bit of a catch to this tradition. So the catch is after you make your letter and you write a little poem on it, you don't sign your name. You only put dots at the end. Like my name is Jennifer, so I would sign it with eight dots. Kate would sign hers with four dots. And we're not sure if you put dots for your last name or not. Ask a Danish person. <laughs> uh, but then there is sort of a game afoot with these letters because you have to try to guess who sent the letter to you. And if you guess correctly, then the sender has to give you a prize, which is a chocolate egg. But if you don't guess correctly, then you owe the sender a chocolate egg. So that's a lot of fun. So the letters can be very elaborate with beautiful cutouts, or they can be more along the simple <laughs> variety. But they all start with just a piece of paper in a square shape, and then you fold it in half twice. So you can use just regular white paper, or you can use colored paper, patterned, whatever. Cardstock doesn't work well because it gets to be a little bit thick. We found that out the hard way. But let us show you what a simple version of this looks like. All right, to create a simple Easter letter, you only need three things, a pair of scissors, a pencil, and a piece of paper. We did cut ours to be square, but you can use a regular sheet of paper also, and it can be any color. Color. It can even be plain white, that's fine. But to start, what you're going to do is fold it in half twice. And then you are going to draw some designs on the inside two edges. Kate's drawing some hearts and some lines. You can really get crazy with this. That was really bad, but you get the idea. Kate went minimalist, now she's going to cut it out. Now she's going to make the edge a little fancy, the two edges. Just a scallop. You could even use decorative scissors if you have those. That's a fun crafting staple. So that's very pretty, and now she is going to write an Easter poem and sign her name in dots. I'm never going to make it as a poet. Now I'm going to sign it with the dots. The dots. Okay. There you go. That is the simple version of how to make an Easter letter. So. We did go online and we found a place that also has some very easy cutouts that are a little bit more elaborate. We'll link that website below for you. Here's a butterfly and here. And here is another flower. And to make different flowers, we did experiment with different sizes of paper 
that was fun. We made these little guys out of two by two inches of paper. And we just used all different kinds of paper. We have a paper scrap box, so we kind of had fun um, going through and getting different types of paper to make our Easter card. So it was a lot of fun. So we love this activity. We think it's so much fun for the octave of Easter. And you could even go all out and make letters to send to family and friends out of town, get them in on the fun. That also is kind of messy with all the paper, all the cutting and folding, as you can see. But we did have so much fun. This is just a good old fashioned fun thing to do. We did go a little non-traditional and we used some of our cutouts to make cards. We took the butterfly and put that one on a card. And then we made some Easter cards with cut out flowers. So we're not Danish, so we took some liberties. It's fine. Yeah, but we really do love this idea. It is so joyful, it is so fun. And we're really kind of surprised that it hasn't spread outside of Denmark more by now. Definitely, it is a fun family craft to do during Easter. And we know a lot of you out there have kids who would enjoy this, especially some of you have crafty kids. And speaking of kids, our Easter giveaway this year is very kid friendly. It is the Divine Mercy tote bag, kid sized, which is great for library books, right? And inside we have a couple of things. We have a simple rosary puzzle, simple but beautiful. Mm -hmm. and, and we also have this uh, Lego rosary in the Divine Mercy colors because we will be drawing the winner for this giveaway next Sunday on Divine Mercy Sunday. So if you would like to be entered in the drawing, just leave us a comment because we hope that you win. <laughs> All right, so we hope you enjoyed today's video and again, happy Easter. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.